Now, as most of you know, I always try to create an introductory section that encapsulates the accomplishments and or core message of my guests. This time, though, it was a real challenge because he, he's a pioneer who's had to blaze his own unique path. And as you will learn from him today in person, so much work had to be done in complete solitude until he could bring his vision out into the open. I mean, in order to expand on the incomprehensible body of work that was left unfinished by the likes of Einstein and many others, he had to first devote himself to the sort of rigorous study that required utter self-denial. I mean, <laughs> the guy lived almost 30 years in complete isolation. No, 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 that's not him. That, that's the other one, Alejandro. No, no, no he, he didn't live in a cave. He... I, no, I, 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 no, not there. I heard he lived in a van. Oh, God. Well, uh, look, point it. Truth is, nobody knew where he lived, but it was remote. And the thing is, he was always, he was always studying, and he moved around a lot. He was, he was frankly, he was pretty antisocial. Last anyone heard, he was living with uh, three nuns and a dog in the woods, but that, that's not the point. The point I'm trying to make is it took a long time for him to find himself, to get his hypotheses into a coherent state where they could finally be conveyed and rigorously tested. In 2013, he took his masterwork to the Paul Girard Proton Accelerator in Switzerland and the rest is history. It's such a lot that I decided maybe one of the best ways to communicate it would be with, with music, poetry, and imagery, because I couldn't sum it up any other way. So I hope it works. In 2013, an accelerator in Switzerland was able to measure the radius of the proton more precisely than ever before. Imagine inside the large hadron collider you're riding a particle beam A corpuscle inside a muscle that's pumped in the whole universal bloodstream And just when it seems you can shoot like the Kareem You remember the soldiers to dream But the splendor that comes from the act of surrendering Helps you remember that you are the dreamer and you are the dream Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. Every remarkable particle is a particular entity. I am a perfectly pristine event imprinted with unique identity. I am imprisoned in protons are just temporarily baptized electrically. I each one promised the eventual prize of perpetual life in eternity. Don't 
let your mind become ossified just like some dinosaur fossil fool. You're the third king of fossil, your power is colossal. Resurrect your corpus colossum, you are the gospel according to awesome, anything's possible. Ask awesome! I know, I know it's Nassim, not Nassim, but hey, you try rhyming Corpus Colossum and Awesome with the man I'm honored to introduce to you right now. Ladies and gentlemen, the man himself, my friend, Nassim Haramein. That was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I like the history of my 30 years of research that was really well researched I, I don't know where you got all that material yeah you know i got from the archives I, yeah thank uh, you. the akashic record or something well i i yeah i got friends in high places and we managed to get those photographs that normally i know you don't let them out but uh, well yeah that's the thing you know <laughs> reputation but you can see i started very indigenous <laughs> Yeah, well, you need to be. I mean, it's it's that takes that kind of dedication. If you're gonna study anthropology and archaeology, you gotta you gotta live it. Yeah, yeah, yes. That well, that's the thing about you, man. You know, it's there's no half measures. It's just I'm I'm gonna do it. I gotta get right to the heart of the matter. Well, you know, the van was accurate. I was in the van for five years. <laughs>